ng Manila. So, nagpabasahin po natin to to give information and also to share facts about sa mga bayani na sa dito sa lungsod ng Manila. Late in the afternoon of the February 3, 1941, two groups of the flying column of the 1st Cavalry Division including the attached 44th Tank Battalion entered Manila with the first group tanking possession of Mala Kanyang Palace, the second group liberating the American and the other allied civili civilian and internees at the University of Santo Tomas, they were followed by the 37th Infantry Division, which rescued allied civilian internees and prisoners of war at Bilibit Prison from the south, the 11th Airborne Division close in on Manila, the Japanese Imperial Forces in the Intramuros were annihilated by February 24. This marker was is installed first one to up to board resolution number two as 1994 of the National Historical Institute destination natin dito sa Intramuros ay ang Baluarte de Dilaw. Ito po siya. <clears throat> Baluarte de San Francisco de la Dilaw. Also known as Baluarte de San Lorenzo de Dilaw. Built as one of the main defenses on the land side of Intramuros. Constructed 1592 rainforest and 1622 destroyed during the Second World War. Restored 1982 in 1984 and 1988 forms part of fortification of Intramuros which were declared a National Historical Monu Monument 1951 then a National Cultural Treasure in 2014. Intramuros or the walled, the walled city is one of the eldest districts of Manila built on the south bank of the Pasig River around 1571. Another information about Baluarte de Dilao known as Different times as uh, San Lorenzo, San Francisco, San Fernando de Dilao, or simply Dilao, it was built in the late 18th century to reinforce the, long, the landward side of the walls between Puerta del Paran and Puerta, Puerta Bril. Restoration began in 1983 by the Intramuros administration. So our third destination is here in Puerta del Paran. Destination is uh, Fort Santiago. Let's see, put in po natin ang Fort Santiago at makikita po natin kung ano ang nakaraan nito at kung ano ang makikita dito sa Fort Santiago. Tara na. Arat na. <laughs> Plaza Mariones. Historical and open ground for military drills, parades, and ceremony named in honor of Domingo Mariones, Governor. Governor General of the Philippines in 1977 and 1980. Konti lang yung tao ngayon. Hindi pa siya dagsa. Pero feeling ko, magiging dagsa siya maya-maya. 
pag mga bandang hapon na or magpapagabi na. As you can see po, ganito po kalawak ang Fort Santiago na napapalibutan ng mga damo, ng mga upuan, na pwede talagang pasyalan natin. Marami pong mga tao ang dumadayo dito araw-araw at panigurado na marami silang natututunan sa ating history dito sa Intramuros. Our fifth destination is the ruins of the American Barracks. El Picho Carino, second president of the Third Republic of the Philippines, was incorporated in the building as a prisoner of Japanese Imperial Army for 16 days during the Second World War. So, ito po ang Baluartilio de San Francisco. Named San Francisco Javier by Governor General Sabiniano Manrique de Lara. It protected the old postern gate when the first governor's palace was located in Fort Santiago until 1654. Restored in 1985 by the Intramuros administration. Ayang Baluarte de San Miguel. Ano nga po ba ang historical ng Baluarte de San Miguel? Ito po ay Shon build to fortify defense of the Fort Santiago versus attack from the side of the Manila Bay construct under government Fausto Gong Gongora in 1695 forms forms part of the fortification of Intramuros which were declared as a national historical monument in 1951 then as a national cultural treasure on 2000 14. Our eighth destination is Fort, Fort Santiago. Santiago. It is the main fortress of Intramuros established by San by Miguel Lopez de, La, de Legazpi on the site of the former wooden fort of Raja Soliman in 1571 burned during the siege of Chinese pirate Lin Feng Lima Hong in 1574 reconstructed with local volcanic tuff. Ninth destination here is Postigo de la Nuestra Señora de Soledad Postern used as access from Fort Santiago to the Pasig River Lieutenant Governor Simon de Anda leader, leader of the Spanish resistance against the British occupation of Manila on 1762 to 1768 during the Seven Years' War, escaped through this postern after a siege of Intramuros by the British Army. The Dungeon of Fort Santiago built for storage of arms and gunpowder as a part of Bulwarte de Santa Barbara 1599 converted to a prison <laughs> facilities after construction of a new pow powder magazine on higher ground in 1715 and 600 decomposing corpus corpuses discovered inside by the United States Army during the liberation of Manila from the Japanese Imperial forces during the second war of 1945. So, let's guys. Cathedral of Manila, dedicated to the Virgin Mary under the title of the Immaculate Conception in 1571, elevated as a bishopric by Pope Gregory XIII in 1578, then raised as an archbishopric by Pope Clement on 8th, the 8th in 1595. First, in 1581 to 1583, second, 1591 to 1600s, third, 1614 to 1645, fourth, 1681 to 1751, fifth, 1760 to 1852, and sixth, 1854 to 1863, and seventh, 
1879 to 1945 cathedrals on this site superseded, superseded by the, pre the present eight structure. Built following the design of national artist Fernando Ocampo with the stained glass windows by national artist Galo Ocampo in 1956 and 1958, elevated to the status of Basilica Moto Proprio by Pope John the Pope John Paul II in 1981. Hi guys! Our destination is Rizal Juan. And that's all. Thank you! was constructed of bronze and granite and that's all thank you for watching